Well, aside from actually just seeing the digital mural as you walk up to the stadium, what they're going to have inside is a banner that all fans are able to sign. That banner will eventually be turned over to the Lindsay family so they can have it for themselves. Lindsay, obviously considered one of the greatest of all time to play the game of hockey. Not only a four-time Stanley Cup champion who played beyond his size on the ice, but a guy who retired, laid roots, and made our community a better place through charitable donations and works with groups dedicated to adults with autism. He played here. He lived here. He had a passion for this area. And because of that, the visitation is expected to turn out tons and tons of fans. And it's not just the fans. Current and past players seem saddened by the news this week, the prospect of the game without number seven. I think he's a, a man who, who built Hockey Town and uh, someone that uh, embodies everything, you know, that it means to be a Red Wing. Made you want to be a better man. Made our players in Detroit want to compete harder. Was around all the time. Oh, was an absolute gentleman. Visitation starts this morning at 9.07. It runs until 7.07. .07. If you're scratch your head saying, Matt, that's an odd time to do it, that's a nod to Ted Lindsay. He obviously wore number seven. It's in the rafters, not only at the Joe, but now here at the LCA as well. If you're curious, you're coming down here between 9.07 and 7.07. .07. Come into the Southwest Gates. If you're not familiar with the area, that's the one that's marked Meyer. That's where Ted Lindsay's statue has stood ever since they opened this building. Anne-Marie? Matt, of course, a lot to be honored there. Great life legacy, both on the ice and off. Well,